Good morning. This is Susan Concepstein, also known as Susan of the North. I do rune reading, psychic rune reading, and I teach rune classes. Just look for runeoftheday.com for the daily rune reading. Look for runeclasses.com for upcoming rune classes. And if there's nothing posted for that yet, I'm still waiting to get more people. But we will have a go. And so for today, today is the 18th. Sorry about all my discombobulation. Today is the 18th of August, and the rune for today is Parathro. Parathro is all about mystery, luck, games of chance, lottery. It's about what goes on behind the scenes. It can be about karma. It can be about justice. It can be about meeting what's in your way of proceeding further on your soul's path. Now, when I say that, I say that because this is also the rune of the Norns. And in the old Norse poetry, I'm trying to relocate, but I know I read it somewhere and I have a copy of it somewhere in my vast piles of paper in this office. They talk about the judgment seat of the Norns. The Norns are those who are, I say this from Gnosis I've received, you know, as, but the Norns have told me they are birth planners. They help decide what a person is going to do when they come into their life, what they're going to achieve. And if they are birth planners, it follows by logic that they also may be involved in helping a person with their life review and meeting their karma, their goals, their aspects where they have done well, their aspects where they may wish they have done better. So this rune really encompasses a lot. And I've already said perhaps a lot more than is simple today. But pear throw is the rune for the 18th of August. And I keep a record for myself just so I can follow my own process and see where these runes come. This is the weekly overview, so I'm actually drawing ahead a few days. But for the 19th, Monday, we have drawn the rune Rido, life journey. So based upon some of the interpretation I was giving Perthro, the life journey is ours between birth and death. You know, we're given the breath of life, and at the end of life, it's taken away. So in most, I want to say in most um, ways of spiritual understanding, the breath of life comes from the divine, from whatever you consider source to be, the creator, the higher power. So this is our journey on this breath that we come in with. And it's our individuality that we hone, temper, overcome, or get set back along the way. And it's up to us to sort it out. So this kind of precludes um, another awareness that most of us come into life, I believe, with an instinctive need for self-perfection in the sense of being. I'm not talking simple self-improvement that lets you achieve things normally on a worldly basis, but the inner understanding that comes with each step of the way that you take, you know, the changes that make for character, the changes that make for a transformation in your outlook on life, all of these things that make us better people. This is the journey of life. This is Rido. Noting this one on my calendar. For the 20th of August, I'm digging deep here. We have El Haj, the horns of the elk, the crown of the tree. 
The horns of the elk are about protection. The crown of the tree is about conscious being. So oftentimes a human being's best protection is his level of consciousness. When we are triggered into old patterns of behavior, sometimes our emotional reactivity overcomes our good sense, doesn't it? So this rune can also be speaking to the capacity to rise above the triggers. Through the evolution of the witness within us, we learn to watch and observe ourselves as we are in life. Not trying to change anything, just learn who we are and what our patterns are. And then you begin to evolve the will to respond instead of react. Conscious being is also about learning, isn't it? You know, life experience teaches us sometimes we want to know something. And so we do the research and we learn and we study and we're a little wiser than we were before. This is El Hajj, the room for the 20th, Tuesday. Oh, this is now Fige. This is the rune for the 21st, Wednesday. Now Fige comes up during times of constraint, during times of need. In the elder days when the runes were first coined as symbols for humanity, this rune also translates as the bow drill, which is a way of making fire. And in the North, our ancestors had to deal with a lot of cold. So a fire was essential to survival. But in today's times, this may also refer to other things that are essential for our survival. Do we have enough food? Do we have enough shelter? Do we have a job? Do we have the income to pay our way? And the solution to the problem is often in the problem itself. So if you find yourself in terms of severe constraint or limitation today. Don't lose patience, don't give up hope. Study your situation, learn what you can from it, and then use yesterday's rune, El Hajj, the wisdom of conscious being to carefully discern what it is that you need to get out of your, your difficulty. The 22nd, The rune Yera comes up. Yera is the rune of the year. And when we're dealing with the year, we're dealing with the ever cycling round of seasons from winter to spring, to summer, to fall, to winter, to spring, to summer, to fall. So nothing is ever permanent. This rune often comes after now Thesia in a reading. And I think it's really interesting did I note that cycle, at least in my interpretations and in my rune draws, I often follow this following now, Thiege. It To give encouragement that no problem lasts forever, that this too shall pass. This is Yara, the rune of the year. That's just me noting it on my little calendar here that I keep. Um, Friday, the 23rd of August. I'm drawing the rune El Haj again. El Haj again. There is protection in studying the problems and having the wisdom that this too shall pass. And whatever the experience was for you earlier in the week, on Tuesday and Wednesday, that led to the this too shall pass of Thursday. This is Friday. There's a new opportunity to study a situation, to understand that which crowns you is your highest reason, your highest attention, your highest good. This is El Hajj for the 23rd Friday. And for 
Saturday, poking around in here, I have drawn the rune Degage. Degage, 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 Degage. I think the G is soft, so I'm going to say Degage. Degage is the rune of daybreak. Whatever has been transpiring for you this week, daybreak has come. You have an epiphany or a breakthrough on understanding of something that you didn't formally have an understanding on. What a great way to end the week. This is for Saturday, the 24th of August. And I'm Susan of the North when I'm reading the runes. And I'm Susan Hintz Epstein when I'm writing books. And I would invite you to check out my book, Rune Play. Got a copy of it here. You can get this on Kindle. People have said that it is a really good book for them. Susan Hintz Epstein, Rune Play on Kindle. So wishing you all a very blessed Rune Week. And if you care to leave a comment on this video, letting me know how well the runes struck a chord in your lives, that would be appreciated.